Terminologies of IC Engines. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the various terminologies of IC Engines. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, sir. What are you doing? Sir, I'm watching the working of the IC engine of a tractor. It is interesting and also easy to understand. Okay, so can you tell me what is the name of the part which keeps moving up and down? It is called as piston, sir? Good. Now tell me what is this? It is, it is the diameter of the cylinder and it is called as bore. Ah, yes, bore. Okay, leave it. Can you explain its working? Um, yes, sir. At first, the piston moves up from the up. It is top dead center, or TDC. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. From top dead center to the lower, lower. Bottom dead center, or BDC. Uh, yes, sir. Bottom dead center. It is called as mm, stroke. Yes, sir. Okay, answer this question. What is clearance volume? Clearance volume. Hmm. It is the distance covered by the piston from top dead center to the bottom dead center, sir. It is not clearance volume. It is swept volume. Were you really watching the working video, Sam? Yes, sir. I know the working of this engine really well, sir. Hmm. I know that, but you don't know how to describe it in words. Yes, sir, you are right. I do have a problem with that. Then you should concentrate on the terminologies used here. Sam, learning is of no use at all if you don't know the terminologies. Knowing the terminologies will help you to solve the problems in your lesson. And also, to do well in the viva voce at the end of your term or in an interview. Not only that, this knowledge is critical as you need to know the terminologies to convey your ideas to your friends at your college and workplace. Oh, okay, sir. I did not realize that terminologies were that important. Will you please teach me, sir? Yes, no problem. I will explain to you the terminologies of the IC engine. Thank you, sir. This is the engine block, which provides the foundation for all the engine's components. The inside diameter of the cylinder is called bore. It is measured in millimeters. The topmost position of the piston towards the cover end side of the cylinder is called top dead center, or TDC. In horizontal engines, this is known as inner dead center. The lowest position of the piston towards the crank end of the cylinder is called bottom dead center, or BDC. In horizontal engines, this is known as outer dead center. The linear distance along the cylinder axis between top dead center and bottom dead center is called as stroke. An engine with equal bore diameter and stroke length is called a square engine. If stroke length is twice the size of the bore diameter, then the engine is called an undersquare engine. If the bore diameter is twice the size than the stroke length, then the engine is called an oversquare engine. Clearance volume. When the piston is at top dead center, the volume contained in the cylinder above the top of the piston is called as clearance volume. But, sir, why can't we move the piston up to the extreme top? That is a good question. Zero clearance volume is not recommended. Because if it doesn't have a clearance volume, it is difficult for the flame to expand. Hence, the flame needs a minimum space. The volume swept through by the piston between top dead center and bottom dead center is called swept volume. It is also called as piston displacement. Total volume is equal to the sum of swept volume and clearance volume. The rate at which the piston moves inside the cylinder is known as piston speed. This rate is not constant. Piston speed is equal to 2 into length of the stroke and speed of the engine. That is 2 into L into N. Engine speed is nothing but the crankshaft speed.
technologies you have just learned are based on the working features of the IC engine. Now, I will explain to you the terminologies based on the performance parameters. We will start with compression ratio. It is the ratio of total cylinder volume to clearance volume. The rate at which the engine can be worked is measured in horsepower, that is HP. One HP is equivalent to 4,500 kilograms meter per minute. And in terms of watts, it's 746 watts. The power that is actually developed in the engine cylinder is called indicated horsepower. It is given as IHP is equal to PLANK divided by 4,500 into 2, where P is the average pressure produced in the combustion chamber, which is called as indicated mean effective pressure, L is the stroke length, A is the area of cylinder, N is the speed at crankshaft, and K is the number of cylinders in the engine. Most tractor engines are designed with two to four cylinders. The indicated power produced in the cylinder of the engine cannot be achieved completely by the crankshaft. There will be some loss due to friction, so the crankshaft never receives the whole power generated in the engine cylinder. The horsepower available in the crankshaft is known as brake horsepower. BHP is equal to 2 phi NT divided by 4,500 into 2 in terms of kilogram meter per minute, where N is the speed at crankshaft and T is the torque, which is the force that causes the rotational motion. Now, I will explain to you some of the additional work that can be done using this horsepower. In most of the modern tractors, a rotating shaft is coupled at the back in order to drive other machines like hay balers, generators, hydraulic pumps, etc. This is called as power takeoff or PTO. The PTO horsepower is around 80 to 85 percentage of tractor engine power. Soil preparation is necessary for crop cultivation and is usually carried out by using a tillage machine. Usually, this machine is attached with the tractor using a drawbar pin, which is pulled from the center of the tractor. This power of a tractor measured at the end of the drawbar is called as drawbar power. This power is also used for loads. I hope you have understood the working of an IC engine, Sam. Yes, sir. Now I understand the working of the IC engine better. Good. Summary. In this lesson, you have learned about the terminologies based on constructional and working features of IC engines, the terminologies based on performance parameters of IC engines,